Then I turn it and say hello. Hi, friend. <laughs> Hi, friends. So, friends, we get a lot of requests for us to do more meal preps. So, we are doing another one for you. Um, a lot of you guys say that it's really motivating to see us do meal prep, and it often motivates you to meal prep as well. So, we figured you could meal prep along with us. Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. First of all, we're going to cook veggies. Get yourself a can of spray. This is great value. It's really priced well. Um, this one is the extra virgin olive oil. You can get whatever. I think they have original as well. We are using a skillet, an electric skillet. I'm going to spray this. It's already been preheated, it's already so it's nice and hot. Preheating. Um, even if we don't say any, um, like everything about why we do things a certain way in this video, guys, just know that me and Nicole are five years down in our journey, and we've both our weight loss journey, and we've both lost over 130 pounds each. So why we do things a certain way, there's always a reason behind it, and we'll try to mention those along the way. But if we forget, and you're like, well, why would they do this? Just know there's a very thought out and proven method or reason why we do things a certain way. Yeah. So, Like, for instance, frozen veggies. Yes. So we're using this bag. This is the California mix. Um, it has cauliflower, broccoli, and carrots. Now, we're using um, frozen veggies. Put them all in your preheated pan. Give them a little stir. And then all you have to do is close the lid and let them cook. And sometimes yeah. today, like we might and we might not, sometimes we put a little garlic powder, garlic salt, some salt and pepper, whatever we're feeling like. Keep it very simple, keep it very cheap. Yeah. Yeah, um, I might, yeah, I might throw a little salt and pepper on there in a couple of minutes, um, but I just wanted to say something about frozen veggies. So, this meal prep and all our meal preps are always about the quickest, most budget-friendly way to do things because Kyle and I um, we work really long days in between all of the things that we have going on in our lives so plus working out so we run we don't have a lot of time and we run on a strict budget so um, that's what these are all about fresh veggies from the grocery store they often you know, they might be fresh, but they're not going to last you a week or two or whatever. Their shelf life is very short. And they're often expensive, especially here in Canada, in Ontario, they're pretty expensive. So, the most economical thing to do is to get yourself frozen veggies. This whole bag costs $10, and this will do us for more than um, six meals each. This will take care of, like two weeks worth of meals. And in Canada, when you have seasons and you have prices like we do, we were just looking at the grocery store yesterday, uh, a couple heads of lettuce was like six, seven dollars. Fresh yeah. lettuce. Yeah, oh sorry I lied. It will take care of a whole week's worth of meals for both of us, so seven for him and seven for me. Yes, yesterday we looked at the lettuce, seven dollars for three romaine hearts. And, you know, that is way too much for the amount of veggies that we go through. Um, $10, and we have our entire, um, those are technically our lunches. We have our entire lunches taken care of. I think I am going to throw a little salt and pepper on this. So what I am going to do is I'm going to just spray the top of this so that the seasoning sticks. And then I'm just going to, you know, throw a little pepper on it. A little salt there you go and there you go give it a little stir so it goes through everything and there you go this is what you call um, a Hank freebie I'll just pretend that it landed on the floor and he can discover that later and this is what we call Simple, easy, and cheap. You set it and forget it. Now yeah. we can move on to our next step. Yep. Okay, friends. So, take it from us. 
like we were saying before, this is five years in of our weight loss journey and we've kept off our weight. If you want success, your meal prep has to be simple. For us, it has to be cheap. You will not stick to a complicated, expensive meal prep, even if you have all the money in the world. The time that it takes to prepare complicated recipes, we just have found that um, the likelihood of success is not good for a, uh, a really complicated, expensive, long-term meal prep. Now, let's move on to our meat. In Canada, and I'm sure in other places around the world, meat is very expensive. This is about three to four dollars a pound and it's just ground beef so take cheap meats if you need and I'm gonna show you that usually the higher fat content ground beef is even cheaper so this is lean I know you can buy extra lean but the extra lean was more expensive so we went with lean ground beef I'm gonna show you how to cook it and make it almost fat free probably 90 to 95 percent fat free with a strainer get yourself a big pot like we said, we're cheap, simple, easy, and the most important, effective meal preps. Get yourself a massive pot. You're gonna heat it on about medium heat on the stove. You're gonna throw your ground beef in there, cook it till it's brown, and then I'll show you guys how to strain it after. And you always ask about how we season our meat. You say it looks good with all the seasonings for our chicken or our beef. We go with whatever's on sale as far as like if chicken's on sale one week, we'll stock up and put it all in the freezer. If beef's on sale, we'll go with beef. So I'm going to show you now our seasonings because you guys always are curious about our seasonings. The best thing about making a rub for chicken or seasonings for beef is that there's no fat, there's no sugar, and there's a ton of flavor in this. I've got some garlic salt. Cayenne pepper, regular ground black pepper, chili powder, cumin, and paprika. Once your beef is cooked to brown and you've strained all the fat off of it, and you've done the method that I'm gonna show you, which is the extra step, which is uh, running hot water over the beef, you're gonna put your beef back in the pot, and I'll show you that, and you'll dump your spices in, stir it up a bit, and there you go. Okay guys, piping hot pot. I've sprayed the pot with some cooking spray, doesn't matter which kind. Don't overcomplicate things guys. Trust me and Nicole, we've done it for years. We've kept off the weight. And this also, this kind of meal prep and this way of eating works. Oh yeah, <laughs> works for building muscle too, which is what me and Nicole are trying to do now. I get it really piping hot because I like to have that nice brown crust on the meat. So, you whack it in there, it's on medium, I'm going to stir it up with a big metal spoon and then I'll show you the next step. Hi friends! Okay, so I'm going to show you another meal. Um, now, you know, depending on our schedules, sometimes the beef and veggies are our lunch, sometimes it's our dinner, and the tuna that we're going to show you is generally our pre-workout, which is usually dinner. So. You know, we don't really do a set breakfast, lunch, dinner, which we often get asked, like, what do you eat for dinner? What do you eat for lunch? Um, we just eat six times a day, and we eat according to what we're doing. So if we're cutting, we eat according to that, and if we're trying to build muscle, then we eat according to that. And check out our full days of eating if you want to see exactly what we eat. Yes, so uh, we're going to prepare some tuna. I have this Chunk Light Tuna by Cloverleaf because it was on sale. And right now we're doing two cans, which I have emptied and put in a strainer. We do often use four cans. You can use as many or as little as you want. Um, we're showing you a method on how to do it, prepare in bulk the fastest and easiest way, which is why we want to open up all our cans, throw them in there, and drain them all at once versus pressing with your thumbs, draining every can by yeah, itself. Yeah, one at a time. This is so much easier. It was actually Kyle who discovered this genius method of doing it quicker. Um, so friends, we often get asked, how can you eat the same things all the time? Why do you eat the same things all the time? Um, that looks like unsatisfactory meals. Why don't you make soup? Why don't you make fancy salads? Well, the reason is, um, this is how we keep our weight off and build muscle. It's cheap, easy to prepare, 
Um, it works. It's Yeah, it's quick. And the big reason, it works. For our brains, having a structure during the week of very similar foods every day works for us. When we go different, if we want soup, if we want a cool salad, we eat it on cheat day. That's what cheat day's for, for all the fancy stuff. During the week, it's cheap, easy, quick, what works to help us build muscle, to help us stay on track. That's what it's for. So, you're gonna take just a couple paper towels, fold it up in half, and you're just gonna press down on your tuna to push out all the liquid to drain it, to drain it out. Yeah, and like we said, we, we've done this with two, four cans. You can do as many as you want. For the whole week, you could prepare it and put it in the fridge, mix it up with whatever you're putting in it, and we'll show you what we put in our tuna in a minute. Yep. Okay, friends, so the reason I said before is buy whatever cut of ground beef is the cheapest. You can get regular ground beef. You can get lean ground beef, extra lean. Get whatever's cheapest because in a, a minute step, I'm going to save myself money and I'm going to drain the fat. I don't need the store to drain the fat for me. So the beef is browned. You're going to get yourself a strainer and put it in the sink. You're going to dump your beef in there. Then I already have like our water's already hot. I already preheated this water is already like boiling hot. You're going to take your really, really hot water and you're going to just mix it around and you see all the fats coming off that at the bottom. You can kind of see in the sink, all the fat is coming away from that. You're gonna mix it around a bit, get it all nice and covered with the hot water so that every bit of fat drains off that. Then we're gonna throw our beef back in the pan, or the pot, and put our spices on it. Okay friends, take your spices, put your beef back in the pot, and Bob's your uncle. Give her a nice stir, cook it another couple minutes, and your beef is done. Like dinner. Like beef dinner. <laughs> That looks nice. Yep. Also friends, for a little kicking up action, a little sriracha sauce in there right before we take it off the heat. Just to your liking. There you go, that's good. Huh? That's the squimp your face up as squimpy as you can. Face. <laughs> okay, so here's the beef. This is what it looks like when it's done and seasoned. And to drain any last bit of fat, we put just one layer of paper towel. It's just like two or three paper towels underneath. And that's what the veggies look like now that they're ready to go. We do not cook them 100%. We like them a tiny bit crispy just because we're not really fans of mushy vegetables. Plus, if you undercook them just a little bit, you do keep more nutrients that way. Um, now let's move on to the tuna. So it's all drained and ready to go. And I have two bowls here. We also use containers if we're prepping for another day, but today we're just prepping for today. When you're prepping for more or if you need, you know, if you're prepping for a whole week or whatever, these are the containers that we put our tuna in. Um, it's just what we had available. These are from Walmart. They're rubber made and I think I got 10 of them for eight bucks. So they're really good. Um, so what I have, how we season our tuna or make it taste better. Right now there is one chopped dill pickle in each bowl, uh, medium size. And these are the Polsky, I'm sorry if I say this wrong, Ogorki. Um, they were out of just normal dill pickles. So we tried these out and they're pretty good. As long as there's not added sugar in the pickles, then you should be okay. Yeah, um, as long as your calories look like that, or your macros look like that on the package, you're good to go. Um, then we have one exact tablespoon of the light Hellman's, it's the half the fat mayo. And after, like when we're ready to eat the tuna, we always put a little bit of mustard in. This is the French's. Um, we usually use great value, but they were out. So this is the one we're using. And like Nicole said, we're eating these right, like pretty much right after this video is done filming. So we're having them in bowls, but like we said, we usually prep a lot more and you can put those in the containers and put them in the fridge. Yeah. So um, I'm about to measure the tuna. We figured out two cans. Um, 
One can of tuna drained is about 3.4 ounces, so I'm gonna measure around there. Um, this is the Perfect Portions food scale. We got it from Bed Bath & Beyond, but there are ones that you can get from Walmart or any grocery store, really, like a Superstore Zayers or something. Um, so I'm basically just gonna turn my scale on, wait for it to say zero, and then I'm gonna put my bowl on and I don't want the weight of my bowl included in my meat, so I'm gonna push zero. That way, I'm only gonna measure my meat, nothing else. So I'm just gonna pour the tuna in until it says 3.4 ounces. Okay, so this is what the tuna looks like mixed up with the mayo and the pickle. And then, I'm just gonna take some mustard. Always shake your mustard. You don't want mustard water, friends. Yeah, that gross mustard water. Yep, and then I'm just gonna put, um, because mustard has no calories, we don't really measure it. And we're not worried about sodium. No, we, we aren't worried about sodium, so. Or mercury in the tuna. Oh yes, we've been asked that before. Um, no, we are not really concerned with that. We realized if we were gonna change our lives and not worry about that stuff and free ourselves from guilt for what we were eating, that we, um, worrying about chemicals and all of that stuff just slows you down in life. You really have to choose your battles, friend. And at the point that me and Nicole's lives were at, we needed to survive. We need to lose weight to survive, so we, we choose our battles continuously to this day, and those are not battles we wanna fight. No, I would rather be here eating tuna, even if there's mercury in it, um, and be able to breathe at night when I sleep than to be where I was and stop breathing seven times a night yeah, and yeah. having my brain literally shut off. So um, this, for me, chemicals is not a battle I care to worry about you can't it'll slow you down if you if you get caught up in fighting all you know every battle yeah. on the planet so this makes a tasty meal and you can put some salt and pepper on it if you like or some garlic powder whatever you would like um and then you know we just we only prepare two days worth of tuna in advance just because um otherwise it won't be fresh so um if you have any containers stick them in the fridge one to two days max shelf life um, we found anyway, and then that's it for the tuna. Friends, dollar store food containers. We've used these for five years, um, and we're not. Another thing we're not worried about is plastics. Oh yes. Okay, so you have your one cup. I'm gonna scoop out, um, you know, a cup worth of veggies, and um, we brown them up a bit because we like that little crust. Now I'm going to zero out my scale and I'm going to measure this one out for Kyle so he gets four ounces of beef. So I just take a scoop or a, this one is a half measuring cup and I'm just going to measure out four ounces for him. And Nicole gets three ounces of meat. Yep, and then that's Kyle's and we use a red lid for him so that we know that this is his and then we use a blue lid for me so that we know that this is three ounces of meat. It's so much easier when you're pulling them out of the freezer. You go, okay, Nicole's and Kyle's versus they're all the same lid and then you have no idea and um, then you have to label it all, which is time consuming. So colored lids, genius. So do the same for me. I'm gonna take a cup of veggies for me zero out my scale and do three ounces of beef for me. If it's a little too much, I just pull the beef out until it measures what I want. Okay, so that's it for our meal prep. Um, we put three days worth of these containers in the fridge, three days worth of meals, and then we put the rest in the freezer. And when we need more meals, we just pull them out of the freezer and reheat them in the microwave. And if we don't have a microwave, we just eat them cold. Um, so that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this meal prep. Don't forget, don't forget to like and subscribe or your game, the measuring cup of doom. Bye, friends. Bye, guys.